Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim, and this is your reading for your next 48 hours. I think we're just going to pull cards today and see what comes out. Um, we'll use the archetype deck first, actually. So thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you're doing really well <clears throat> wherever you're at. Calling in your spirit guides, your angels, higher self, get messages that's whoop, for your greatest good, sign of Gemini. Sign of Gemini. Spirit guides, angels, what messages do you have for Gemini? Oh, the thread, that's a good one. That's a good message. <laughs> the animal. Hmm. Should we pull from the animal deck next? Probably. <clears throat> Probably. So the thread. Oh, look, we've got another. Oh, my goodness. You possibly have the best reading. <laughs> I'm serious. The readings have been so hard to get through. I've almost physically, like, gotten sick, felt sick. <laughs> because these energies are crazy to deal with. Um... The nectar, though, is awesome because, Gemini, this says that you've been through a particularly hard time and you've come out the other side actually using whatever venom you had to go to, go go through, we should say, uh, turning that into the nectar. And, it, and the assumption is that you probably wouldn't have gotten to the nectar if you hadn't <clears throat> have done all that you did or gotten through all that you have in a time of suffering. I mean, it's not, oops, sorry. It's not anything fun. There's nothing fun or frilly <clears throat> about how you get to the nectar part, but it's probably hard work too. I like how the rose has a blending of the duality. I do like that. Moving to the middle, we have the animal. The animal could be talking about what's your spirit animal, um, which we're going to look into this, this spirit animal oracle. But um, I also, I can associate this card with just people having signs that come up throughout the day. Maybe certain animals that they're like, oh goodness, why do I keep seeing the same thing? Something will be done <clears throat> Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Something will be done with this animal card to get your attention. Um, so I also will categorize it into like uh, serendipitous events and things like that happening. Also, there's a need to get into the wild side of you or the animalistic side. I'm even, five of wands is kind of coming up in my mind, like, but healthy competition is coming up here and like letting nothing get in your way. There may also be like a pack. Heck, it might, I mean, this could be talk about like soul tribe outside of um, whatever you actually do here on earth, the connection in the soul, the soul sense. So why does it have a connection, the animal? <clears throat> with the nectar and the thread. <clears throat> there may be like, okay, this is kind of out there, but there might be some information coming from an animal <laughs> that that is helping you through a tough time, thus bringing you the nectar that comes out of a, of a particularly difficult situation. There could be, yeah, animal pulling you through something, giving you messages. Um, the thread is helping you, you know, if, if, if the animal is helping you, it's helping you to get to the thread. The thread is like when we're in that darkness, we're in this darkness right here in the thread. Um, we're looking, we're grasping for anything, and then there's this bright red thread that we can follow. We can't really see that that rainbow's there because these clouds are, would make it really foggy and dark, and you wouldn't be able to see it. But we can tell that the thread leads you to that area. So finding just the common thread, like in a, 
you know, they always they say like in a tarot reading, if you just find the thread, uh, you can follow it from then. So it's just like once you get the hang of something, you'll get the hang of something else. And then things just keep leading you to your rainbow, your positive <clears throat> future outcomes, right? All right. More messages, please. More messages for our Geminis. And, and of course, this, you know, most of the time these cards are metaphorically or symbolically speaking, of course, so it can be, <clears throat> it can be just uh, something that you end up seeing on the TV a lot, or maybe you're just seeing it here now, and then we'll start seeing it later. <clears throat> Either way, either way, you have found the reason for your soul allowing you to go through something. And it's the nectar. It will provide the nectar. So will this animal card. All right. Animal, spirit, oracle. <clears throat> I think that's what the name is. Pull a card for your Gemini, please. Pull a card for Gemini. We have the thread, the animal, the nectar. Moth spirit. Oh, well, that's nice. Peacock. I'll show you what we've got so far. I was going to get one more. 39 and 46. Moth spirit. Surrender now to maybe what it is that will lead you to this rainbow. Uh, the peacock spirit, let it shine. <clears throat> they look like badges or emblems on there. Um, something about being very proud of what you do, letting your color shine. Because like I said, this reading, it's got victory all over it. It's about a victory. It's about surrendering how you get somewhere and surrendering your expectations. That really leads you somewhere great. All right. <clears throat> oh, and then you have 42. Otter spirit, you are never alone. With, and it came across on the moth, this otter spirit did. Nice. All right. And then on the bottom of the deck is Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. A rebirth is assured. Okie dokie. Let's get um let's get a tarot card for each of these. So Moth Spirit says surrender now. 46 Spirit is about your pride and letting your color show, putting yourself out there. <clears throat> Doing things that are kind of like animalistic by nature, taking a risk, something like that, um, will lead you to the nectar spirit. Oh, goodness. Wow. The tower um, 16 is connecting the peacock with the otter spirit. The let it shine and you are never alone. Why well, am I getting the feeling like it's like it's uh, it, like you shining right now is kind of hard to even hold on to right now? Um, because there's so much going on. It's like, I don't know if we can celebrate this time. Because at the moment, it's like you just have to have the strength and the confidence here to um, to rebuild. So this is four fours, the 16 um, with the tower. And the Emperor, number four. So you have a lot of Aries, Scorpio energy. Transformation, change, and it's it's what you're building. This tower is pretty, I mean, it is the good tarot. This is pretty much a good tower because it's being paired with the four and it's upright. So, yeah, there's been a shakeup. <clears throat> there's been a shakeup, but uh, this tower is just sudden change and and it's the change that ends up being the nectar
you are never alone. Through this, you are never alone. Developing a really good strategy. You'll be very proud of your strategy here because it will win. It will move you forward. It will win. Might be dealing with some kind of authority here because I, I was saying I saw badges in that and then the emperor here. Which, if that happens, that's going to be fine, too. Look, working things out. <clears throat> I have the Eight of Earth and the Queen of Water. I think that they're probably... Um, the issue is working something out and taking really good care of yourself. I think both of these should be upright because they were... Kind of both like on the challenging position. So both of them are going to be something that you keep on working towards, which is self-love, taking care of yourself. The eight of earth, um, maybe Virgo energy, but it has to do with uh, being really good at something. Maybe surrendering to what you're really good at is your thread. Let, it, let your colors shine because it's going to end up helping you win something. It's going to help you rebuild or build, period, and not rebuild, build, because these are in the upright. Okay, what are we surrendering to? Um, just ask this. Whoa. Justice energy and the guardian of wands, which is the queen of wands. So being bold and being brave to surrender to justice, karma, Everything panning out the way it should be and things becoming um, e equal and even, fair, equal, even. Maybe dealing with the system, with the legal system. And if so, like I said, that's going to be all right, too. So Libra energy here. The Queen of Wands is... Um, Definitely taking a risk here, but they're saying not to forget about yourself. So don't forget about your self-care, but definitely still be bold enough to get close to that fire. Knight of Wands, because you're about to move in the direction of your justice, of making things fair, what maybe was not right, making something right. <clears throat> So tell us more um, regarding this queen of water. Taking care of ourselves. Maybe a cancer. Maybe dealing with a cancer. Or um, maybe like needing to receive more. Being open to receive more. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take it like that. There's the five of wands. These are probably the, a challenge too, I would say. But... To not fight, to not argue, to have communication that when you have communication, it's not fighting, it's not arguing. Um, and to envision yourself receiving more love than you do right now. <clears throat> and being open to receiving, uh, kind of like uh, the psychic phenomenon here, being open to receiving. Watching our anger for the things that don't work. <laughs> With the King of Cups energy, maybe with the Scorpio or Virgo or Aries or Leo, we have the, um, we do have the lion here. So watch, watch our anger. <clears throat> Something's going to work out. Don't worry about that. Something's going to work out. Don't worry about that. See, there comes the sun and there's the Leo energy too. Um, with that sunflower there, letting you know that up ahead, the sunflower is like this uh, rainbow. It's just like that. It's it's the uh, promise of your future being really bright tomorrow. All right. So I think that we're building something really magnificent with this tower energy because it's coming underneath the nectar spirit and the otter spirit. You are never alone. But let's go ahead and see uh, what wants to come out for Nectar <laughs> and Tower. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look. Ta-da. Ten of Cups wants to come out. That's what I said. I think you're building onto your everlasting happiness. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. Gemini, you're the first. Uh, you are really the first sign to have the most amazing reading. <laughs> oh, 
Thank goodness. Even yours is looking like it's going to be, you know, like you had to go through something to get here. But it's long-lasting happiness. And it looks really good, guys. Let's pull a timing card. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate, but I think they're kind of fun to do. So, timing question for one, two, three. Or four. Okay, one. In the very near future. Oh, my stomach. I hope you didn't hear that. Five years. Number three, ten days. Number four, three years. And that's what I've got for you all. Sending you love and light. Bye.